There is no sideliners in this okay. truck. Ain't nobody on the side. Okay. Nobody on the side. So we have to make sure we don't allow people to think that they are above the struggle. You're either on our side or you ain't. Right. And we don't have no allies but ourselves. April 17th, Dr. Umar Abdullah Johnson, black psychologist, live at Black and Nobel. Peace, Professor Griff, Minister of Information. Um, revolution is not an event, it's a process. Also speaking, Professor Griff of Public Enemy Number One in the building. You have to be there. Professor Griff, Minister of Information, Public Enemy Number one, I'm proud of that public enemy. I'm here at Black Nobel Bookstore in Philly. Now listen, y'all know and understand the history of public enemy. Philly, all right, was our second home. Uh, we put it down in Philly. Lady B and some other people that came and surrounded us and brought us through and gave us the key to Philly. Not the key that you get from other people downtown. Uh, you the Black Nobel key. You know what I'm Live at Black and Nobel, April 17th. 2010 live at blackandnobel.com you will be able to witness on Ustream worldwide and an historical event at Black and Nobel 1409 West Derry Avenue Philadelphia doors open at 7 a.m. event begins at 7 p.m. we need a high school we need a hospital we need jobs we need an airplane. We need a ship. We need our own neighborhood police. We need a supermarket. You understand what I'm saying? Because in slavery, you were taught to do what? When a slave hired himself out after he was done working for his master, he was taught that you only spend that money to enjoy yourself. This is key. Read the slave narratives. Read the slave narratives. Whenever you got paid, you cannot use that money for the benefit of the family. Never! In fact, on most plantations, if you did not get drunk on Saturday night, if you did not get drunk, the master would buy you a keg of alcohol and make you drink the whole damn thing. And would tell you I better never ever catch you on a Saturday thinking instead of drinking. Okay. Yes! Yes! So even now, 142 years later, we take our excess money and use it for what? Have fun. Blind wigs. 40 pairs of sneakers. $65,000 trucks that won't be worth half of that in five years. Look at us, y'all. And white folks play that because they sing kids. They keep begging us. They got the wherewithal to do it, but there is no sense of dignity and pride and integrity. That's stuff they make you get up and go. It's easy to dispute what I said. But when it's in black and white, it's hard to refute this. Are you fighting? Have you forgotten that once we were brought here, we were robbed of our name, robbed of our language. We lost our religion, our culture, our God. And many of us, by the way we act, we even lost our mind.